Okay, so we've done a little bit more disassembly here by undoing this lock nut, which is nine millimeters, and this threaded screw. We can now remove the auxiliary venturi, which should also have a calibrated number that references the size of the fuel orifice that we can see down there in the center. Uh, it's supposed to be a 4.5. We can't find a number on this, but these seem like original carburetors, so we're going to assume that we've got a 4.5 there. And finally, this is one of the key adjustments on these carburetors, is this is the choke, the shouldered piece that slides back in and is held in by that lock nut. And it also has a calibrated number that tells you its inside diameter. And in this case, we have 32s, which is what the stock fitment is for a 1608 Fiat. You can get these in different sizes. And you can even buy, again from CB Performance, a, a kit that would replace this auxiliary tube with simply a brass bar with multiple holes drilled in it, and you can get chokes larger than 32 in there. So if you've got a need for more top-end airflow, you can go to that and get an even larger choke size. Is that going to affect your bottom end? Yeah, the smaller the choke size, the better the low-end response, and the weaker the high-end horsepower, and the converse is true. The larger the choke size, the worse the low-end throttle response will be, and the better your high-end horsepower will be. So really, in this case, if you have a really built-up 1800 or a built 2-liter engine and you're running 40 IDFs, you might consider going to a larger than 32-millimeter choke using the CB performance parts.